November 21, 2021. Our last stop on our trip to the Western Isles is a poisonous cave containing loads and loads of treasure as well as some bandits. These guys are no match for our promoted Lin and her beast support partner Lina, unless they're using swords and have attack speed in the double digits. Since our starting position is the only exit for this cave, the enemy thieves will always go there after filling up their inventory, making it easy to intercept them and rob them of their robbed items. The boss is a threatening berserker with a crit rate on everyone, but as Lin tries to set him up to be killed by Alan, she gets one of her glorious criticals herself. That is the fourth time in a row that Lin has effortlessly killed the boss in Fire Emblem, the Binding Blade. Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Binding Blade, or the Linning Blade, depending on how you put it. How's it going, Raisins? Going well, going well. Here we are. We're at chapter 13. Yeah. We're back in Etruria. We've got the Armads. We're through with the Western Isles. Yep. And we're on this map. Yeah. This is, mm -hmm. uh, I think we said this last time, but I think this is one of the toughest maps in the game. Usually when people talk about the hardest maps in FE6, they think of chapter 7, you know, the Ostian Revolt, or chapter 14, the desert that's coming up next. Uh, but mm -hmm. I think this one is up there because there's a lot of powerful enemies with a lot of range in this one. You got two snipers here, or like an archer and a sniper, where one of them has like a, they both have ballistas and this guy has a silver bow. Uh, you got a Paladin over here, a uh, Hero over here, uh, some tough Wyverns over here, um, some of which are bosses, <laughs> and some of which are NPCs. Uh, you got a, another squad of Cavaliers and a Paladin here, you got another one up here. And then what makes it the hardest, I think, is all the reinforcements that come from the back. It's like two teams of like Paladins and Cavaliers coming from the back, uh, like every five-ish turns at some point. It's yeah, and they're trouble. no joke. Yeah. Like they're they're actually very powerful groups. Are are they identical to the groups of cavaliers that are already on the map right now? I think they have the same configuration of like one paladin dude with silver lance and then a couple of cavaliers with different weapons like a killer lance and a steel lance javelin guy, steel lance javelin guy, actually for a guy and then like one troubadour just to you know keep him keep him healthy, keep him nice. I think yeah, they're yeah. like that. Might be some variation going on, uh, but I have an idea Did that might work to lighten the load a little bit and hopefully give us the energy to push forward with the rest of our units. Um, What's the idea? I'm, I'm really curious. Mm -hmm. It has to do with this guy. I'll tell you that much. Big guy. This is something Wade cannot do. Uh, but before that, Ooh. we need to think about how we tackle this initial group and push through, because we don't really want to hurry per se, but if my plan doesn't work out, <laughs> then we definitely need to hurry a little bit. And then mm -hmm. uh, we're going to go in. So, Alright, I think I know yeah, what we want to do. Yeah, good. Should good. we stock up a certain unit? Uh, yeah. With more healing items? Uh, maybe. Um, you, can, you can cut this out. You don't have to show. You don't have to show you. <laughs> I will briefly go over some unusual party members that I'm bringing. So Jared and Marcus are like the best fielders I have. No one else is really great for fielding. Deke would be okay if I promoted him, but I plan on not doing that for now. So mm -hmm. we got Jared and Marcus. Uh, Marcus bringing a bunch of gems to sell to shop. Very important shopping trip in this map that I don't want to miss. Uh, that's why Clarines also bring some selling weapons, that the, the Legion Whip and the Ryan's Bolt. And mm -hmm. Mernus is here as well, in case we need him for that. And also for another reason we'll get into later. And honestly, there are also just like, useful rescue droppers, and in Clarines case, healers, or filler combat units that we can use. So it's not just, they're not just here for carrying, but they're the best carriers anyway, so might as well get on with it. And then the rest is basically the teams that I brought last couple chapters. Um, people promote fillers like Klein and the Kitna, and then the regulars. So nothing super special there. So <laughs> The mandatory units that we have to use. Yes, the, the, they might as well be green, you know what I mean? They might as well be forced. Ooh, wow. Okay, so here they're like, oh, we're impatient. Well, too many bosses. Yeah, they're going to get real impatient. They brought the Zephy on here. Uh, we said uh, we said Alcardo was like bad, but this guy is something else. No, how are we going to take him on? <laughs> That's the neat part. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll worry about him. We'll see what he does. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, it's a great scene. Uh, so I was thinking for the initial rush is we put Alan in range of both mages. We put Lin in range of the furthest mage to bait him out a bit. Maybe he'll go for her. And then uh, the snipers will either get off their ballistas or shoot us with ballistas. And then either way, we have Alan ready to maybe go in here and kill like one or two more enemies. Uh, but it'll be dense either way, so there's going to be some improv involved. But... This should be an okay start. Barrier him up. Barrier Allen, usually a very good start. Yeah, I mean, he's got the he's got the HP to survive and everything. And the big question for him is, I know I want to put Lin exactly at the edge here, so that's like here. This is like a pretty brain dead move overall. I brought the Monikai at six uses because you know we are facing a lot of horse enemies. Um, but the question is, where does Ellen go? Because I want Lin to be supported by Lina for sure. Uh, you know, the, the Lin Lina support. 
but I would also like Alan to be supported by Roy, which means Roy probably has to be carried in such a spot that Alan takes on his mage. So if Alan goes here, for example, would there be a way to get Roy over there? And I guess I'll the answer is Alan, Laram. probably not. Yeah. I think Laram yeah. would just be the best answer here. Just pick him up with Marcus stance and then just go in. Seems like it just, seems to be the simplest way. So uh, going here, don't support. Uh, use Zella mm. is better. So go in here, picking up. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Go here. As long as you don't try and death dance him, you should be fine, right? Yeah. I mean, there might be death and there might be dancing, but I'm hoping I won't be able to combine them at least. I won't hope. I hope I won't force myself to. So you can go here and just stay back. I don't want him to fight too much. And everyone else just kind of bunches up. Rescue and... drop can still be used to put Lolena in range too. Oh uh, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, another angel Lynn right yeah, here could be a good spot for yeah. her. So that would mean Marcus goes here and then Rutherford can drop, I guess. I think you want to pick up Lynn from the south and then Kanto onto Lynn Square and then someone else takes drop, take drops from Marcus to the east. She's going to end up to the square west of Pine. You mean go to... Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Yeah. yeah. So just go here. Oh, well, no. Uh, you mean, you'll uh, yeah, cover yeah. the square you need go to. Go here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I know this... I think if you, if you do this, like... I think the game thinks I'm using my full move, but it, I'm actually not, so it's fine. So yeah, yeah. here. The, the game actually here. Fix your cur fixes your cursor for you. Yeah, very nice. Take, drop, image of Lin. Not that Lin needs the attack or anything. Uh, Rutger needs to be at the ready. Kidna as well. You're telling me Lin no longer needs additional help to be I good? I know, right? Hmm. I know, right? Insane. And then Gonzalez has this huge range of peaks up here that we can make use of that I'm hopefully going to be able to abuse with his uh, healing items and other very. I didn't give him the hero crest? Uh, I did not because he only has five slots and I wanted all this off oh, stuff. True. So I'm hoping he won't need it. Okay. And you got him the elixir? Yes. Hoping he won't need that either, but you never know. Anyway, Cecilia, show everyone how good you are. Oh, fun fact. I. I, I had it in my mind to like remind you to do this, and I forgot. Uh, but if you turn off the back, like if you turn off the in-game music, it still plays the soundtrack during this fight. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's 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 definitely the king of trivia trivia. Goodbye. Yeah. I know a lot of people who like you know they like to turn off the music and listen to the rune during it, and they're like, what? <laughs> hold what? up, what's this? <laughs> Zephyr's attacking. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, now we have Zephy on the throne, but don't worry. It's just like the per 12. They do a couple boss switches here. Okay, so everyone is on a move. And I'm only facing about 50 hit. You know that awkward hit rate where you're not sure if he's going to get hit, but you don't know if he's going to dodge. But you also and can't rely on him getting hit. And two Oran actually makes it 50.5, you know? <laughs> Details. <laughs> okay, please Detail. hit this guy. Uh, this is the May. Is this the one that could attack Lin? Well, I guess we'll never know now. Uh, oh, the other one can't attack Lin. Oh, he won't. Okay. Looks like we're not doubling. Oh, yeah, Lin's the mage killer, don't you know? Yeah, well, I guess that explains why they're not going for her. They went for a barriered up Alan over Lin. That says a lot about a society. I forgot that detail. Speed. Well, barriered up Alan is Yee, what, 10? Speed, 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 Ooh. speed, speed. Faster. Maybe now we can double the mages. And there's a sniper actually going off to Ballista for this. Ooh. Okay, we can. I was like, did the sniper just actually get double or something? I don't know what he's thinking. I, I guess he just wants to do more damage. Maybe he thinks that because he can put Alan at such low HP that like they like to put you at low HP if they can, right? That's true. Oh, there's Percival, by the way. We never mentioned. Yeah, yeah this is true. Uh, you do get up he, there. You can recruit him early. Yes. You don't want to though, because you know um, Percival is chilling here. But if you talk to him now, he doesn't get his hard mode bonuses. Because remember what I said about Ray. If a character is an enemy recruitable. And you can talk to them to mm -hmm. recruit them, you know. Uh, they often have heartbreak bonuses, but that's only if they spawn as reinforcements, like Rutger or like Kath, for mm -hmm. example. And it just so happens that most of the enemies, I mean, most recruitable enemies in this game are like that. Uh, but this Percival is not. But there's a later appearance by Percival where he does have that, where he does have his insane heartbreak bonuses, where like mm -hmm. his strength and speed get above 20. But not in this case, so we're just gonna let him go. He's gonna leave at some point too, so we don't have to worry about him too much. Yeah, Percival is one of like the two units who just get insane hard mode bonuses. Like this is silly. Mm -hmm. But I wonder who the other one is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Gonzalez right now not doing so hot, but on the peak, I know he's going to reduce their heart base by 40. Uh, but there is an action for here that makes it a little bit dicey. So mm. we'll just see if it. Should have brought the sword, Reaver. Maybe, but then, like, 
it gets awkward. I guess it, there could be an argument could be made for bringing the Sword Reaper, but again, I had some mm -hmm. trouble fitting all the unit slots or all the weapon slots, or rather, That's true. fitting what I wanted on there. But we're gonna see if this works, and if it doesn't, you know what? It's still early on. If you can, if you can survive one wave, you should be able to survive all the ones that come after. Bench mm -hmm. one of these people brings Shanna with extra weapons. <laughs> it looks like. Let's see, our caliber is nice for wyverns, but it doesn't do enough against these snipers, unfortunately. Marcus can come from some chip though from behind. And that would set the kill for Lena perfectly. So that could, would take care of the sniper if we managed to hit that. The Kidna mm -hmm. can probably kill the mage, especially if we bury her up first. Although I might want to physic Alan. Uh, Anna will be able to come through. See, the trouble is they kind of stack themselves in a funny way where any unit that, that goes beyond like roughly this line could get attacked by a Silver Lance Paladin. So that's a bit of a, a scary part. But hopefully we could like run around with Alan. Honestly, these guys are not much of a threat. They're just longbow guys. So if we just kill a mage and a sniper, I would probably be happy. I think with Roy pushing in there, or with Roy pushing in, with Alan pushing in there, we should be good. Okay, I just, uh, I think I did over twenty with Elena, so I think I'm going to go, I'm going to try this. Let's go. Triple this move is good. As, as long as we hit. <laughs> yeah, it's a little dicey, but there's still like a ton of people who can reach. A little bit miffed. I put Rutger in that spot. I kind of want to, um, like, if I could switch Rutger and Klein right now, I would. Yeah, yeah, but it worked out. Okay. Would have been smart. Um, now you get to attack the mage with Klein. That's true. That wouldn't be bad here. Or all the good uh, it does. Longbow would even be, would be better probably. Ooh. Because then we weaken him for. I mean, Roy probably doesn't kill. Actually, he does. Wow. Roy can kill from that. That doesn't seem bad. We still have like, I think Klein is also a pretty good dance option. So mm -hmm. if he misses, it's not the biggest deal in the world. We could also use our Mage Carolyn to do this though. Uh, and then... Oh. I don't really think I want Lin beyond this line anyway. Oh, this is How much a defense for the Silver Knights? Yeah, that would be... Hmm. This doesn't seem like a bad move at all actually then. And then... How much defense she has? Uh, she has 7, but the thing is like if she goes there... Um, she'd only be in range of an archer. They're like they don't do much either. They have like terrible hit rates and everything. Yeah. And I like the ballista, I guess. But this is not a sniper. This is just an archer. So it's like the same thing. And we can actually. Like, yeah. We can actually have Alan occupy the square to her right, and then the paladin won't be able to attack her because the archer will be in the way. Uh, or, yeah. Good point as well. Yeah, I was thinking of just having her like one range the archer, and she wouldn't be in range the paladin to begin with. Oh yeah, true. Or kill the mage like this because she is the mage killer after all, and then someone else can go after the archers and have not face a counter attack. Like, if we do that, then uh, like the Paladin can never reach her, and like, sure, this guy can reach, but only with true range, which is what we want, so it's probably fine. Highly advantageous, I agree. Okay, let's go for this then. God, I can't believe she's unorganically good now. All that blind favoritism mm -hmm. that we should have given her, right? Nice. This is just regular all in. Yeah, I was, no, was going to say, like, she's actually RNG screwed, <laughs> and... <laughs> She, what was the other thing I wanted to mention about her? Oh yeah, no staff boosters. Uh, I do believe physicking Alan here is going to be the right play no matter what I do, but I would like Roy to be out of the way. Can I like... I guess I can still do the thing with the longbow. With Roy. I get the kill that way. My right, client takes 9 damage, what a travesty. He doesn't Not the longbow. Okay, let's, let's make this longbow a little bit shorter. Nice rapier oh, kill. Oh. Roy good. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, if I say Lynn is good and I show clips of her killing archers, gotta say the thing, same thing about Roy, right? Yeah. Ten <laughs> strength? Yeah, double digit strength in chapter 13, let's go. He's supporting Alan, you know, still counts. Yeah. Okay. This is one Physic Alan, Mend Alan? Yeah, I was actually just thinking about that. I think Mend might be enough, honestly. Yeah. Wait, we have our second staff user. Yeah, we do have Larum available too. And. I could either use her to like, get Rutger caught up, uh, like Rutger and Yard, maybe even. We can get two Paladins, so we can use that to get Rutger caught up. Yeah. Although, Ooh. Alan would have to oh, We don't have the squares for it. Yeah. Uh, I think I'll just physic him. Seems okay. I have to sleep staff for emergencies too. Get that fixed up. And then we can kill an archer. I don't think it matters which. I would like to face the, uh, this guy. I think there's a horse layer somewhere. Not yet. I don't actually think there was on the map. Oh, the, the wyverns, maybe? Where are the ones with the horse there? Has to be. There he is. There he oh, is. there he is. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. Yeah, I hate him. Um, but it doesn't look like he's here. 
Just keep him in that Roy support range. Ooh. I could bring use my trusty Lance Reaper for this one, because it's pretty good against the Paladin, I think. Is he double Paladins? No, right, no. Just double Cavs. They have like 11 to 12 speed, which is an awkward number. For one, um, every enemy on this map, I think, doubles weight if they're not on a Ballista. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very sad. This would be an okay time for it on Lance Reaving. Not the first weapon you would think of using when you're your Alan. You have like access to all kinds of weapon triangle things, but I think this case Archer. works. Okay. He has access to both weapon triangles. Yeah. That's one way of looking Actually, at it. What is his axe rank right now? Don't tell me it's still E. It should be E for Alan? Yeah. So oh, no oh, reverse. Yeah, no. <laughs> no reverse, but he does have B sword somehow. Anyway, for Rutger, yeah, we're gonna have to like dance for Zella to do it, which is fine. So let's do that. Um, Lauren goes one, two, three, four, five here. This is fine too. And then we can drop him as far as possible and go even further beyond. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this is completely fine. And I could not can just shove in here and burn this, I guess. Assert herself into the position. Alright, is there a new boss? There's always a new boss. Oh, not going here. Sephiel, please. Why you do this? Oh, no, there's no boss. Let's go. Let's go. Wait, there's no boss. Come on, rush in. Get in. Wait. <laughs> new LTC cheese strat. <laughs> okay, Gonzalez, this is where you might want to like hit some hit some hits. But yeah, 50 50 ish hits with the actual revert, that's fine. What I don't know for sure is like, yeah, I thought they might do that. I thought they well, might. That was like, him facing the extra revert. Yeah, that was him facing the Axe Reaver. And that's like the Ooh. worst enemy for him to face. They like mm -hmm. three, four shot him, and he three shots them back, but they had like horror and his hit rates all like, oh, uh, that could have been it's bad. Good thing we didn't get that. Mm -hmm. All planned. Maybe if uh, we like put Gonzalez on a tile that can be attacked by two two people. Yeah, I mean this way he can like attack the javelin guys, I guess, which could be good for XP grinding. But I mm. Oh, we actually. Oh, I see. Me, you want to like move him one up so he can get attacked. Yeah, I actually want yes, that too. Yes, he can. Yeah, yeah, I want that too. Okay, and now it's time for the main event. Let's return to burn. No. Let's return to Roy. Yes. Oh, you're kind of in the she way, but that's the okay. <laughs> you're kind of in the <laughs> way, but that's okay. I mean, she gets her turn, so. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Just thought it was funny that I was like. So aware of my spacing here, and then suddenly, like, oh hey, there's a lady here now. Now it's all clogged mm -hmm. up again. Oh well. Are you ready for the best unit in this part of the game? Probably the lady, best wife provider in the series, arguably maybe one of the best units I think in this series. Um, Some say the best unit in this game. I would, I would agree with that. I think I'm not sure because I'm always like deciding between her. And Rutger, and then like you could argue when Percival is actually there, he's also on par with her. But there's no mm -hmm. doubt that for anyone, that Lady in a Heart Mode is one of the most amazing units ever created. Um, generally, combat in this game tends to be pretty difficult because there's very few units that have good offense and good defense, as well as good mobility. Uh, you could argue Rutger has good enough durability to qualify. But he's not as mobile as Milady is. But Milady just comes in here with like almost 40 HP, uh, better strength and defense than I think everyone on our team. Uh, maybe like Alan can maybe tire in strength, that's about it. And um, I guess his speed is better because he's got the speed wing, but then her defense is just insane. I guess yeah. supports kind of make her lose out, but just, just the fact that she compares as a level 10 Wyvern Rider while our other units are like promoted says a lot about how strong she is. And then she flies so she can like get the best positioning possible, uh, build people out all the time. And she has enough con to not get weighed down by lances and like your Pegasus Knights, so that makes her even faster. And flying tanks are super useful, and this is one of the few units that can actually one out enemies using just plain iron weapons. It's insane how good she is. I love using Milady. There's not a whole lot more to say about her besides like super good at fighting. Um, I guess her one weakness would be that she is the flyer weaknesses like arrows and air caliber. But you do pick up a Delphi Shield Leader that will help with that as well. So that even that is covered at some point. Insanely good unit. Love her to death. Yeah, I mean, there are some things like, oh, she she doesn't have good supports. It's like, that's such a nitpick, dude. Like, <laughs> supports can make someone good, bad supports don't make someone bad. All right? Like, get out of here. Don't do that. But yeah, Melody, kind of like you were saying, you were debating if it's like Rucker or Percival. There's like a list of five-ish units where if you say, oh, this is the best unit in FE6, I'm not even going to argue with you. Like, you're probably right in your own mind. And Melody's definitely probably at the top of that list. 
So ours does have some hard mode bonuses, I will say. If you're playing on normal mode, expect your ability to be like much weaker. Uh, but with hard mode bonuses, remember, the enemies get the exact same ones. So normal mode ability will still do as well against the enemies as this hard mode ability that you're seeing right now. She'll just compare differently against your own units when you're doing that. Uh, ours did roll a little bit under strength and a little bit over HP, but otherwise is like performing exactly as expected. So I'm looking forward to it. The only question is, she's level 10. Are we promoting her right away? Are we waiting? What's the, what's the goal? I think we're waiting a little bit. I generally like to give Lady a couple levels. I've not often seen a couple levels make a big difference on any units ever, but it just feels weird to promote her when she's doing fine on promote it. Uh, generally when, mm. like, some people think that I advocate for promoting right away, always, whenever. The truth is, I think you should promote when you feel like your unit needs the boost to keep performing well, and when their XP gain is no longer so fast that you can justify keeping them unpromoted. That's the mm -hmm. way I see it. I know Wait, we have more to fire too, so, yeah. Mm. Man. These are a little awkward, but I can have Klein Ballista they one of them next time. They can't attack us at all, right? Come again? They can't attack us at all, right? No, yeah. not this turn, but they will end up in oh. a spot where they can attack me next turn, which I is the one of my peeves. We do have one of the best flyer anti-flyer teams here. We have like Worm Slayer Roy, uh, and Lin with bows, Climb with bows, Lino with Air Caliber, and a Dancer as well. So if they ever hit land, they're going to be destroyed. But until that time comes, we have to be a bit cautious. Do we need Melody to kill these Paladins, or can we actually put Melody up there? Well, the thing about putting Melody is they're like, in her unpromoted mortal state, I don't think she performs all that well. I don't think she doubles these. They are weighed down by three, so you have nine speed. Uh, I guess Milady with an Iron Lance would actually double them, but one of them has a Javelin, so I don't think we want to leave this to Milady on our own. What we could do is like fight one of them on enemy mm -hmm. phase to weaken him a bit. It would make him easier to shoot down. Uh, like with a Ballista climb, maybe, and then some dancing. It could actually work. Uh, this is the reason I brought Mernus, to give her some stuff. Uh, I do want to get out of the way to Paladin. Uh, we can move one down if you want. And then, or one up. Is that peak tile two below Gonzalez? Is that traversable by the, hmm, maybe we want to go one up, actually. I was thinking one up. I would. I guess if the Paladin comes after me, then he's walking right into my trap, so it wouldn't be that bad as long as he doesn't kill anyone on his turn. So mm -hmm. we just, like, forget about him for a minute. And, and Gonzalez is going to have plenty. Like, <laughs> yeah. he'll, he'll get combat, so don't worry about it. Oh, yeah, it's not about him getting combat. I'm just, his purpose is distracting enemies, and if they're walking by him, then he's not fulfilling his purpose. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we just go for Kalanax here then, I guess. Just see if we hit. Might as well. Like, I don't think there's a big difference between moving one up and one down anyway. Might as well get the attack in. Yeah, we might as well. Okay. Yes! Yes, this is what I was hoping for. <laughs> is that our first one? Yeah, I think it's our first one. Okay. Okay, snowball time. Skill, skill, skill. Get up to 50 hit. Oh yes, okay, I'll take oh. that. I'll take that. I'll take that. We'll take it, we'll take uh, it. This yeah. is why this guy's so fun to use. That, that is some hit, that's some hit. <laughs> okay. Okay, so if we're what do, what do we need to accomplish besides Milady getting our weapons and moving up here? I guess Kill the Ballista. Yeah, kill the Ballista, but that's not super tough because he's being weighed down. Is he actually No, he doesn't get weighed down by it, but he gets weighed down by a steel bow, so it's like he's not a very tough enemy to kill at all. Yeah, I'm gonna kill. I guess we can try to feed a kill to a boy somewhere along the way. That would be one thing to accomplish here. I guess I'll remove the troubadour. I'm just. Some people would like just move in here and try to start attacking, but I'm a little worried about locking myself off from attacking. Yeah, it's pretty wise to not just start swinging. We have many Kadi if we need. Yeah, we do. That's probably okay to use here. But I'd rather not if I can avoid it. I know Roy's not effective against a troubadour, so I gotta keep that in mind. And Myrna needs to move in here. Lady needs to like trade with him. Uh, let's get the ER lance and like a javelin out maybe, and mm -hmm. I start using them against these guys. I prefer we move Myrna first, then like Melody can stay advanced. Yeah. So that's the thing. The question is, where do I move with Jared? I guess he can like we could mm -hmm. a troubadour or something dumb like that. Uh, we could a cav for Roy or something. Go for a halberd pot Ooh. shot. All these Ooh. options. And his accuracy is awful though. Gosh, everybody's like one short. Yeah, I know, right? It's a little awkward. Well, Movement-wise, I think we're basically there. Um, is there like a horse slayer we can get to Alan? Or? Uh, I don't know where my horse slayer is, I forgot. I'm going to do this, I think, because it sets up to kill for Roy. And then we can just kind of get going. That's fine. That's good, yeah. I'm trying to see who wants to pallet and kill the most. I guess it will be Roy. It's an easy kill. Get him out of the way. Maybe Alan can double the Cavalier. 
How does Lin do against the Paladin? With her mini Kati? We could do it. Uh, it's actually really good. Mm -hmm. oh. This wouldn't be a terrible either. Uh, I want to free up Shadow Square. Can you like, hurt the Archer to the point where someone else can just kill? Maybe that would be wise. Uh, if you can just kill the Silverlands. Yeah, I could. It seems kind of weird, but I mean, might as well, right? Uh, he'll miss. He'll miss. Yeah, maybe. Okay, whatever. Works out. Nice. Works out. That's what I wanted. It was my trick. Re reverse psychology. Yeah, I got him. Train Zealot. Got okay. him. <laughs> How about Lin into Lydia on the Paladin, huh? Uh, 18, put him down in 11. Then we can kill him with Lina. And Rutger can do the Troubadour or the Cavalier. Oh, he has an Axe Uh Let's see how we. Let's see if it crits or not. That seems like informative. If the Troubadour stays alive, you know what? It's fine. <laughs> Got that yeah. one out of the also, way. Also, if, if you didn't crit, then you'd knock him down to healing AI anyway, so. Oh, right. I'll start running. But it's just like they try to go towards Troubadours, I guess? Because there's so many in the map. I think they do. Yeah. I can't remember. It seems but logical. I think they do. Okay. Uh, Home Arcs has this the Iron Lance. Which, don't get me wrong, is good. Actually, what I should do, maybe... Oh, nice miss. Okay, that's fine. Just feed the Lina instead of Lina, because Lina is like... She's not going to promote for a little bit. A little bit. Whereas Lina's already promoted. Let's leave it up to that 17% crit. Who gets it and who doesn't. Right. And Lin can get a clip. I mean a kill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Working at bull rank a little more. What is she, a Fortnite streamer now? <laughs> I'm basically streaming Fortnite here. Okay. Let's go. Oh, okay, the one. Okay, back to the usual. Back to the business she, as usual. Wait, how much res does she have? What the hell? She's so restless. It's insane. She's 60 res. <laughs> it's so stupid. She has more res than strength. Oh my god, I'm looking. I'm looking this up. She also apparently like never gained defense. She's like, she's not just speed screwed. She's screwed in every stat. I think even like. Uh, I think she's like minus one on strength before. Someone is keeping track in the comments. Multiple people are, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess we might as well. Oh, yeah. She's like plus five in res. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess we might as well do this. Just so that like, Roy can get the kill afterwards. Wait, don't these guys have elixirs or something? Is that. I'm not confusing with someone. Uh, I think I think of FE8. Yeah, yeah, no, they have a vault. Okay. Um, not, not as exciting. Yeah, definitely as exciting. Uh, if Mortis was like one in advance, I was thinking like maybe I can like get the kill with Milady with like a javelin. Mm -hmm. But someone will have to trade the javelin to her, which I guess yeah, Mer Merlin just could merch trade. So yeah, but he's like one short. But Corin can like uh, give this for example. Mm -hmm. uh, we we'll just keep on this for a while. She can get her stuff back next turn anyway. Get an iron, a javelin, and honestly. If we get her stuff back later anyway, we might as well grab a Vaughn for her. Which I know I have put in here, but I guess I didn't. Okay, whatever, just take this old one then. When you spawn, we'll have to do. Yeah. Sorry, Melody. Shucks, I guess. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll heal you. You joined the army too late. Okay, so we have this attempt, and if it misses, it's fine. Mm. But what's most important is that we dance the lady here. Oh, nice. And then get in range of this uh, little club over here. And I reckon we just Iron Lance, just take the sure thing against the Steel Lance guy, and don't worry about the Javelin, just try to shoot him down later or something. Or yeah, because with the both. Javelin, yeah, you, you could say, oh, with the Javelin, you, you do two attacks, you hit both, but with the Iron Lance, you get two attacks as well, so. Yeah. yeah. In a way. In a way. Uh, so the Trooper is set up for Roy, we don't need to do anything here, we kill the Ballista. Good is here for show, I guess. Ellen here. I need to bury your list. Don't think I need to physic anyone drastically. Don't need to, don't need to sleep with Wyvern yet. No, not yet. Okay, another cutscene. It's like the fourth one here. Alright, let's go. Alright, Narshan's the boss now. Okay, healed up. That's fine. I don't know if Roy can still kill now, but that's okay. Oh, we seem to show our animations. Remind me to do that. Uh, she takes the attacks beautifully. It's uh, always in the forest now, that's kind of annoying. I guess this is why I want to move down instead. Oh, uh, true. Uh, you can just like flip-flop between the two. Yeah. There's a kill dance. Oh, we actually hit him. Pretty low odds though. And we two shot him, so this is a this would be a great kill to get them player base, I think. The oh, Paladin yeah, is going to sure. go down though, but he's out of range for everyone. Yeah, but it's fine. Is there a troubadour in that northern group? Or no? Yeah, there I is. thought there was. Actually, I thought there was. Maybe he, I think he, they didn't move actually. 
Okay. Yeah, I think in hindsight, there's like a little two squares of peak right there that Gonzalez maybe should have gone on to, but this is working really well. Yeah, they're at the bottom, the bottom of the peaks. Do you see those two horizontal? Uh, wait, what? Oh, no, on what the peaks. Where? There, there's like a, the the two peak tiles at the bottom of this whole formation. Oh, like here? The very south, yeah, oh, yeah. Because like you could have flip up between these two. Like I think, just oh, thinking yeah. about the strategy, it's a really good, I, I never thought, I never thought to do this. But no, you get a really good idea. I think like the only improvement I could make is yeah. just to go between those two. That's a good idea. Thanks, you. That's a good idea. Just, I... just, just for the viewers at home, mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to replicate this. Yeah. This is my idea. Yeah. <laughs> I do like this because like, if we can get through, then we can maybe get this village before we like, because I, I can see that the way this is progressing, right? Is Gonzalez mm -hmm. keeps everyone busy out here. Uh, but eventually we're going to be here. We'll have done our shopping and everything. We've killed everything. Then we need to seize. But we still have to get this village somehow. But when it's like crowded with cavalier reinforcements that are coming in, we might as well get this early. So unless unless Milady like, can go back. Or... Yeah, unless like Milady doubles back and gets there, which is possible. I guess that might have to be your plan then. Because I do want that village. It has a body ring, which we can use on like a Kitna or Milady or someone else who makes good use of it. Mm -hmm. A no uh, body ring? Yeah. Uh, let's see. This might be a turn for like going down here and I mean the healing threshold is probably 30% or so. So I don't have to kill this clan's guy right now. I would love to, but I don't want to take another free hit from this uh, action mm -hmm. And I kinda wanna yeah, like about that much. make my way through here maybe if I can. Because this is a pretty good tiles to go through. So like equip hand axe or kill axe or just ah kill axe seems fine, because then I can kill the clan's guy and just fall yeah, into right. me. Take these turns to vault when I can. Oh. Okay. Wait, right. what? <laughs> okay, Gonzalez, huh? <laughs> it's that trigger. How did how did that trigger? <laughs> Flare like looks across the whole ocean. He's like, shit, Gonzalez is on the mountain. Roy is coming. <laughs> I just imagine him like looking through his binoculars, like shit, <laughs> shit. Our it's Gonzalez didn't work. <laughs> I think that triggers either like on a certain vertical tile or beyond a certain turn if you then move here. Because like Gonzalez is the first unit that moved, right? So it's mm -hmm. probably just gonna trigger no matter who I moved. But it's extra funny with Gonzalez. The binocular <laughs> move. Okay. Um, so this is where I would use the ballista or the longbow to shoot down his wyverns. With some dancing help maybe. Unfortunately it looks I'm like I can't access this wyvern in any way besides um, ballista and the lady, which I think wow, combined is not enough. So swift. We could just wall off against the Wyvern. Yeah, we could. I don't like walling off, though. It's It feels slow and dumb. But it, it might takes, have to end up It's going to take up, like, five units, too. Okay, all right. uh, and we still have longbow. to deal with this Paladin. Ooh. Link longbow. We could longbow Link can long. this guy as well. I mean, I have, that just gives us an extra longbow against that guy. Can, wait, can Lin Ballista? Mm, I don't think so. She cannot. No. Right. She can Ironbow the Troubadour, which, you know, got me for a moment, but then I realized it was not what I was looking for. Can get this kill with a Burp Slayer. And that's mm -hmm. solved. Let's see. Not our always one. I don't know if we two shot Wyverns with the Ballista, but if we do, it seems like a pretty good move to just dance Klein, have to do it twice, and then we just longbow the other Wyvern. Uh, with maybe, if it doesn't two shot, we can always just finish off with Milady as well. Yeah, two shots plus which, Milady. Speaking of and then. Turn on. And then also turn on Gonzalez off. I can find the ballista might for you if that helps in the calcs. Let's see. If I could probably estimate it real quick. Oh, whoops, this. Because um, ballista might. I don't know how much it is, but it's like six, eight ish, I think. It's eight might. Yeah. Eight might. So it's like a 24 might thing. It's just the same as nothing I have right now. I mean, yeah, I can just check it. Because I'm going to do it anyway, I think. I'll do it mm -hmm. regardless. Attack. Oh, we can just. Oh. Oh, I didn't notice Benyu was here. Wait, okay. what? What's the equipment? That's his longbow, I'm... I think. Whoa! I've never seen this Oh, we can also use the ironbow, of course, because it's Troubadour. Mm -hmm. That's really cool, actually. That's This is before you can ride the ballistas. Damn, this is some major trivia shit. I can, just check, a... I can just check this. Wow, this is so strong. Look at this. Is this wow. <laughs> is this part of a new translation, or is it... I don't know. I would be surprised if it that? was. Look at this, though. Ballista animation. Nice. Yeah, I don't think I've ever actually like fired a regular ballista in FP6. <laughs> Okay, and then we just have to. We can just finish that Arm, one. Arm, steal guess. the longbow and trade. Ooh, Beautiful. that's true. Beautiful. 78. It's good enough. Goodbye. 
That's perfect. That's perfect. On her blue wyvern. Yes. Kind of vanilla, honestly. And then uh, we can trade longbow it. Let me get the boy kill real quick. Honestly, we could just dance him and have him shoot the other guy. Good. That'd be epic as well. The thing is, I don't want to kill on Klein, though. <laughs> I'm not raising him. Mm -hmm. uh, Lin. It wouldn't be terrible to have Lin attack here either, don't get me wrong. Yeah, or to get like the paladin that's running at us from behind. Yeah, he might need addressing as well. He might need addressing as well. We could uh, have him run into Zella first. Uh, if he used the Hellbird, he'd be weighed down to 11, which is not enough to get doubled. So we could like set wow. that up for him. That could be yeah, just. The paladin's kind of slow, okay. Uh, this one, a little bit. I yeah, I mean, yeah. 12, I mean, like I said, it's enough to double weight, I guess. Okay. Yep. Uh, what, a, what a benchmark. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I don't have many options for phrasing here. I think Are I'll have... legally allowed thing. to double? There you go. We'll do the thing with flying. Attack, Ballista, this Wyvern, please. Just because it's funny. Goodbye. You dare use my spells against me, Potter. You dare use my own blister against me. Ah, okay. A fellow Harry Potter start. fan. Yeah, definitely. Klein is definitely being trained right now. We can have... If we kill one, I'm not like opposed to leaving them exposed here. Uh, so just like, go up here, shoot him in the face, and then trade with Rutger, attack, make it now, whatever. Something, something. Whichever unit okay. we end up using. Yes. Uh, Kitna seems appropriate for the job, at the very least. So let's trade you... I mean, do we care if he uses Javelin? Not really. Do I want him using... Um... Oh, whatever, just... Iron Bow is fine. We, we could... Yeah. We have 5,000 units up here. I think we'll be okay. We should be good. We should be good. Yes. Probably if we're going to do this, we should just fed it to Lin instead, because our growths are better than the Kitnaz, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. Who knew? That's taken care of. don't think it's worth going for that guy yet. We could, but like... Alan's out of support range. She doesn't like... He actually does like surprisingly well though. We could still do it. Put him in front of Lin, at the very least, I guess. Oh, we can like grab Roy along. And then there's four range. So Roy goes here. And then mm -hmm. Alan drops him. We'll just put him in front of Lin again. Uh, Hand axe, I guess. Iron axe, whatever. Take, drop, and go in front of him. And he has to go for a kidnap or Alan. Ah, That's good to me. Nice. And now everyone then... can move forward. Ru could Rutger move back and do it, or no? Rutger could move back and do it. I was thinking of just leaving Zelda in range. Rutger could do it as well. It would put him a bit behind schedule, maybe. But I don't think we need him ASAP here. He's pretty good against this group, though. But we can always risk dropping him backwards. Um, yeah, and we have a bunch of Paladins who are also pretty good against that group. Yes. I guess it'd be get it better for Rutger to do it real quick. Uh, we can heal Klein this turn. It's kind of hard to tell, but he was injured. <laughs> he was injured. Oh. Probably make the Paladin go as much towards as possible. So, like, here is a pretty good job for Rutger. Uh, he's used to steel sword, that's fine, run it out. Uh, have Chlorine get our stuff back. We're selling. We have two whips. I only plan on using one so far, and we get another one later if we want to use Z's, for example. So, we can get that back, and then I think she had, like, heal and mend or something. Just using up my old weapons whenever, whenever I can. Just use yeah, we had a doo doo mend. Yeah. yeah just go in here. Could probably have Rescue dropped her a bit further. Now she's on a range of lane, but she can be next turn. And then we can keep Zealot here as assistance for Rutger, either in the combat or the rescue department. More Wyverns. Gonzalez doing work. I mean, he's trying to try his hardest. I mean, that, that was the Axe Reaver, you know. Cut him, cut, cut him a bright. That's true, that's true. Okay, I'm gonna turn on my lights real quick because it's getting dark, but feel free to comment at Rutger doing sword swings in one second. 14 damage, woohoo! That's so much. Sorry. No, we got Zealot coming in from behind with the Halberd. You can see some massive damage, it's true. Actually, Halberd pretty good on this map. This is definitely a map, by the way, if you are like, ah, should I conserve the Halberd of the Horses Lair? Uh, on this map, breaking in is pretty fine. On earlier maps, yeah. it's like, maybe you can serve it for 13. But... So many, so many opportunities to use it. And like, not a whole lot afterwards. Like, if you skip the Paladin reinforcements from that uh, one map in Chapter 21, then mm -hmm. honestly, you're not going to see a whole lot of Paladins anymore after this. Like, I'm trying to think of them. I guess Ilya has like a fair share of cavalry. Um, I think we do this. Do you Does remember which even... Cav moved first? Oh, yeah. 
Axe Reaper, right? Probably? Okay, Axe Reaper's always been moving first. Okay. In fact, we've kind of lost the Killer Lance for a moment. Yeah. Killer Lance is uh, coming back, I guess, maybe? If you move up here again, he might come back? Uh, he will come back in that situation. The Axe Reaper will block him off. Do I want him to? Hmm. I guess it'd be nice to just Never get him gone. the question. It's like, this is Other than the Axe Reaper. Axe Reaper will attack from the forest again. No, wait, Axe Reaper wants to attack from the forest. Uh, yeah, he took from here, but actually the Killer Lance won't be able to reach me then. Okay, we'll just keep on clouding downwards, I guess. Use a hand axe for fun. There you go. Get that axe rank going. Although, honestly, We're gonna get a lot from that. I like this Paladin being here. It's uh, comfortable. Uh, we can get off the Ballista now and shoot him with Klein. And then kill with Rutger or... Lady Slow with Shorts. I think this might be where we take our detour and go and get the body ring before we are flooded with reinforcements. Ah, uh, true, true. Hey everyone, post-production Mecha here. I'm sorry, but I decided to split this episode in two after all, even though I wasn't planning on doing so initially. It looks like we're pretty far along here, but there are quite a few enemy groups we have left to fight. Splitting a chapter in half like this allows me to build up a bit of a backlog of videos, and that is very convenient for me, since it lets me spend more time on other projects, like scripted videos. It's also better for the YouTube algorithm to have shorter videos. So, continue next time to see if my plan with Gonzalez is enough to hold off the reinforcements until we finish all the side objectives. Until then, bye!